from the Holyrood. Let's take Hunter you away from right Holyrood. It's been reported that sounds similar to gunfire have been heard close to the Palace of Westminster. A man with a knife have been seen within the confines of the palace, according to eyewitnesses. A lot of eyewitnesses reports um, on Twitter saying that armed police have been seen running to the exit from the UK Parliament. Sounds like an explosion. Other people saying sounds like gunfire. Uh, let's talk to our correspondent, Mark White. You can bring us the latest. Mark, what do we know for certain? Uh, we know from uh, sources just confirming to me that a serious incident is unfolding. Scotland Yard say they are getting multiple calls about this. Uh, information that uh, I've got from a fellow journalist at the scene uh, reporting uh, sound of uh, gunfire heard near the entrance uh, to the Commons itself. Uh, as you can imagine, there are lots of reports coming out on Twitter. All we can say at the moment at, at this uh, point, apart from these social media reports, is that a serious incident is unfolding uh, or has unfolded outside uh, Parliament. Uh, there was a report from a fellow journalist who was walk walking across Westminster Bridge. The sounds of uh, gunfire. Mark, I'm going to interrupt you there because we can show you some footage. This is the moment Order! Parliament is suspended. Order! The sit I am now going to suspend the sitting of the House. This House is now suspended, but please wait here. Uh, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Commons suspending uh, activities inside the House, where, of course, PMQs happened just what uh, less than two hours before that a Reuters photographer has seen six people injured on Westminster Bridge according to Reuters inside Westminster as we say Westminster the House of Parliament suspended there journalists inside the building are all tweeting they have now been, all been told to stay in their offices inside the press gallery inside uh, Reuters are reporting that medical staff have been seen treating two people inside the gates of the UK Parliament. Our defence correspondent Alistair Bunkle can join us now. Alistair, what do you know? See around here. That is where the broadcasters uh, on big state occasions at Parliament stand for looking for the House of Lords end, if you like. A police cordon's going up. Uh, two police cars are now going through with their sirens going. A doctor on foot was just hurried through the cordon by the, uh, the police who are here. So he's been taken through to attend to someone. There are still members of the public and perhaps members of the parliamentary staff who are hurrying or walking quickly away from Parliament and down towards the cordon. And apart from that, it's pretty quiet. And I have to say, relatively calm this end of things, but the police are very jumpy, uh, keeping everyone back and not allowing people to progress too far. Uh, as I say that, we're now just being forced back a little bit further. Alistair, as we're speaking to you, we're um, going through various different news sources whilst we speak to you. A lot of people reporting panic in that area of Westminster. A lot of people running away from the Parliament area because of these sounds of the shots. A number of reports of people being treated on the ground in that area. Actually, we're going to go to Mark White, our Home Affairs editor, who's got a statement from Scotland Yard. Mark. Yes, Scotland Yard, it is very brief, but they are now confirming an incident that is unfolding uh, at the palaces of Westminster. They have no more information at the moment that they can share with us. It is the very early stages of this incident. As you can see, the protocols that normally are put in place of when a serious incident like this unfolds uh, are now being put in place. You can see from our live shot there um, the police vehicle that is on Westminster Bridge itself. We have perimeters now being set up at all of the entrances, all of the routes into this area around uh, the Houses of Parliament and leading to Parliament Square. You can see uh, that is uh, one vehicle. It looks like an armed response vehicle with uh, perhaps another civilian vehicle that's just pulled up onto the pavement there. The reports that we were getting was that uh, some of the injured were on Westminster Bridge, that perhaps this incident unfolded on Westminster Bridge itself and then may have uh, moved towards the palaces of Westminster. You can see now many more police resources arriving there. Robert Nisbet uh, is there for us down at the scene. Uh, Robert, what can you see? What can you tell us? 
we're, we're, on, we're on Millbank at the moment. You can see that we're being pushed back by police at the moment. We came down here about four or five minutes ago, and there was a wave of people running down the street, including uh, workmen and others who work around Parliament, who just say they didn't know what was going on, but they heard a noise and they were told just to get out as quickly as possible. Uh, just above us now, Jane, we could hear a helicopter. It seems to have gone. Uh, I think you can see it there. Um, that is uh, the air ambulance that is coming in down to land as we get moved uh, a little bit further away. Um, but uh, none of those people I spoke to, and if you turn around here, you can see the people who have gathered uh, behind uh, the plastic tape. Police very quick to set up a cordon. And Jane, just as we came out of uh, our office, which is just over there, we saw uh, what appeared to be, uh, and I can't confirm this or guarantee it, uh, but a car that looked as though it was the official detail of the Prime Minister uh, that seemed to be speeding very quickly away. Uh, the full blues and twos, uh, the blue flashing lights, as well as the sirens, as we get pushed past uh, this cordon tape. If you'll just bear with me, we'll just go underneath it now. So. Uh, the air ambulance appears to have landed now. Uh, it was up in the air. I can't see it uh, anymore. So we think it has landed. Ah, oh, no, it's just coming in there. We see. There is the air ambulance landing. It looks as though it's going to try and land on uh, on Parliament Square there at the moment. So Parliament Square, for those who are not familiar with the geography, is just at the end of uh, Westminster Bridge, where we believe uh, this incident has taken place. But a noticeable air of, uh, as you can imagine, uh, a, a panic in the air. Uh, police, a lot of police are obviously stationed around Parliament in this particular area anyway. Uh, so there was a number of emergency services uh, around. But uh, I haven't felt uh, that level, that surge of panic in this area uh, for, uh, well, I haven't felt it at all. I mean, this is clearly a serious incident. Uh, some of these uh, workmen around us at the moment who were running in their high-vis vests and hard hats uh, away from uh, work that they were uh, doing on the street around here. So obviously it is a confused situation at the moment. We're awaiting more information, but the air ambulance has just landed in Parliament Square as the police move us back past this second uh, cordon now that has been established. Robert, thanks very much. Uh, let's turn to Kevin Schofield, the editor of politics.home, uh, for his view on what's happened there. Kevin, what have you seen? Yeah, well, about 15 minutes ago, we just heard a very loud bang outside the office. We were in the press gallery in Parliament here and looked out the window. There was lots of shouting, men running around, uh, and then looked to my left, and there's um, a, a part of the estate called Carriage Gates, which are heavily fortified. Um, someone looked like they rushed through, attacked a policeman, a uh, policeman went down, another policeman came to his rescue, then the man who'd assaulted him got up. He appeared to be carrying either a knife or a gun, I think probably a knife, but I'm not 100% sure because I wasn't that close to it. And then um, we had gunfire, lots of gunfire, and um, maybe five or six rounds. And then, um, then it got really quite panicky after that, as you can imagine. Uh, so, uh, so, Kevin, as far as you could see, the shots that were fired were by the police at the assailant. Is that your understanding? We think so, yeah. As I say, I mean, it happened really, really quickly. All I just remember seeing is the man approaching the, one of the police officers with a knife and then uh, there was gunfire. I mean, there are obviously there's a lot of armed police here all the time anyway. So I would imagine that that's where the gunfire came from. I'm looking out the window now. There's quite a lot of police, but they seem to be relatively calm. We're all locked in our office here. We're not allowed to get out. Um, Westminster Bridge is obviously in lockdown, Parliament Square as well. So there's, there's, there's no traffic coming to or, or, or from Parliament. And then, um, yeah, we're all just been told to, to stay in our offices until given further information. Uh, did you have any sense, Kevin, that a vehicle had been used? Because there are separate reports suggesting that some people were hit. Well, yeah, like I say, that there was, there was, there was bangs that, that we heard. And when we looked out the window at first, we thought perhaps it was a bus crash. And there seemed to, because all the traffic had, had stopped. There was lots of people running around. But so perhaps that bang that we heard, like I say, it did sound like a crash, like a car crash. Perhaps that's, that's what it could have been. That's what first made us realise that something, something dramatic was, was happening outside. And Kevin, if I can just be clear in terms of the whereabouts of this, particularly for people who aren't familiar with the geography as you are, at the Palace of Westminster, I'm seeing a government source suggesting that the, the knife man, as you've described, was actually inside the grounds of the Palace of Westminster. Can you confirm that? 
Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. As I say, there's, there's this um, there's an area called um, Carriage Gates, which is normally closed to the public. You can only get in with a security pass. It's, there's always armed uh, police on the gates there. But someone rushed through that, got through the security gates, and assaulted a policeman. I saw the policeman go down, then another policeman sort of come to his aid, and that's when the guy got up, and he seemed to have a knife in his hand. Uh, and that was when um, we, had, we had gunfire. Uh, could you in any way identify the, the assailant? I mean, was he shouting anything? What, what were his actions? I, I couldn't. We were, were through. I was watching it through through the window, you know, so I, I couldn't sort of hear exactly what he was what he was saying. I think there may well have been shouting, but I couldn't tell you what it was. But he was walking towards the second policeman with his arm outstretched, with what looked like a knife in his hand, um, having already assaulted another one, another policeman. Uh, got him down on, on, on the ground. So, uh, as I say, it was at that moment when you realised something serious was, was, was happening, that this man had, had broken into Parliament, as it were, and had a weapon. Uh, and then, as I say, you heard, um, heard the gunfire. And I presume there was a man I saw earlier who was surrounded by um, police and medics getting some kind of treatment, and I can only assume that was the, the man who was holding the knife. Uh, Kevin, we really appreciate what you've been able to tell us today. We've got lots of different lines that we want to share with our viewers. If you can stay on the line, that will be really yeah. useful. If you can't, yeah. we understand.